Uh, Tim Anderson is the director of the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies, who joins us from Sydney. Tim Anderson, you have the blacklisting by the UN of the Ansarullah movement. The, these are the fighters who are fighting for the lives of uh, Yemenis that are being bombed, along with all the other problems uh, rising from this bombing campaign and this war, malnutrition, diseases, um, lack of food, etc., uh, which has led to many children dying, and yet you have them being uh, put on that list. Um, what is the story here? Why would the UN, especially at this sensitive time when talks are going on, uh, coming out and, and um, making a move like this? It's because the, uh, the big powers backing the Saudi war uh, back in 2015 froze in time a political situation where the interim president who had a, a vote in his favor in 2012 is regarded as legitimate president of Yemen, although he hasn't been near Yemen for six years. So they've frozen in time an idea that the Yemeni government is sitting in Riyadh and the actual Ansar Allah-led coalition in Sana'a is some sort of destabilizing force in Yemen. So unfortunately, the UN Security Resolution 2216 is at the root of this um, uh, structure which is turning things upside down, taking the Saudi-led coalition out of the people who are brutalizing children in Yemen and trying to put the so-called Houthis, that is to say Ansarullah and their coalition, uh, as the villains of the, of the affair.